Hey guys, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna find winning products utilizing the platform TikTok. Then I'm gonna show you the features that make up a winning product and we're gonna find a winning product together. And then I'm gonna show you how I would personally market the product that we find. Subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. Let's go. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is go to TikTok, make an account. And then after you make an account, go to the Discover page and you want to search TikTok made me buy it. After you click TikTok made me buy it, you can sort on the top right once you click there. And then you can sort by the date posted. If it's yesterday, this week, this month, you can sort by it all. What I like to do is sort for posts that were posted this month to keep the products relevant. So we're not getting like an old winner that was that was a banger like six months ago. Like we want what's hot right now. So sort by this month. And I like to, instead of sorting by relevance, I like to sort by most liked. And then after you click this month and most liked, just click apply. And now you can see all of these videos start rolling in with all these products that are like really killing it. Look, 999,000 likes with this with this um, back posture corrector. Damn, dude, I know this is a great product. It's it's an old product, but it's still working. So you could definitely test it. This isn't the one we're gonna go through and test right now though. We're gonna keep looking for more. And while searching for these products on TikTok, you need a virality factor. You want the product to go viral every time your customer gets it, every time somebody, somebody makes a post about your product after they get it. You want that to have shareable potential so they could share it with a friend and you want it to explode with likes, engagement, comments so the question is being raised where did you get that product oh i got it from nike.com oh i got it from gymshark.com these leggings are sick you know because they never had pockets before and they never had a drawstring on the leggings like something that's just really cool a viral factor like glow in the dark pants or something you get it um, but you also want to make sure there's a demand for your product so as we're searching for these products we're not just gonna pick any ordinary product because it solves a problem we need to make sure it has a demand and has all of these factors virality factor high perceived value solves a problem we need to make sure there's demand in the market if people don't want our product we will never be able to sell it. So we got to figure out what the customers in this niche want after we find a product and then we validate it. After we validate the product, we go through, we test, and then if it bangs, it's lit. If it doesn't do well, we find out why, and then we adjust and pivot, and then we keep testing products in that niche, learn the niche until the products do well. Now we can take the strategy a step further. We're on top right now. We're on the category top. We can also go to hashtags and then click on TikTok made me buy it. This is a whole different category with with the same keyword. So now we have all these new products we can search through and they definitely have some potential, some of them. So we're going to go through um, just really find a good one like this looks kind of cool. Uh, oh, it's a phone case that looks very satisfying. Honestly, it's like you could sell this for people who have anxiety, ADHD. It whoa. OK, never mind. That wasn't the phone case it was on the phone case basically it's just a, a screen protecting your phone it looks like from water i don't even know where that went okay this is interesting i don't know what it is so that's also a problem if you don't know exactly what it is once you see the product just keep that in mind you want your customer to know exactly what the product is right when they see it because if they don't They'll just go on your landing page. They'll try to process it in their head and it becomes psychology. Once they can't figure something out, they're going to bounce from your website and leave. So we're going to keep scrolling. Um, Hello Kitty lighter. Not that interesting. That's also a copyrighted product. We don't want to sell those. This thing looks interesting. Dude, it looks like a. OK. Oh, that's a cool phone charger. That's sick. OK, so stuff like that. And now if you want to get targeted on your for you page for TikTok, like it, share it to yourself, share it to a friend and you'll start to get um, more products shown to you in your for you page because now you're starting to get targeted by the algorithm and TikTok is beginning to see what you like. This is really cool. OK, so product method number two on TikTok, we're going to click on the search bar again. And we're going to type in Amazon must haves. So 
Once again, we could go through the top category. We could sort it through this month and most liked, click apply, or we can go through the hashtags and we're just gonna go through and see which products are bangers, which is really cool. We, we see some of the same ones. Whoa, like look at, <laughs> this thing is crazy, man. It's like a freaking go-kart for little infant kids. It's like a bumper car almost, oh my God. Dude, this, this kid's whole room is lit. He's got a giraffe, a ball pit, a kid's own bumper car. What the hell, bro? I wish, I wish my parents treated me like this. God damn, bro. This is crazy. He's even got a dog. All right, so that's what I mean by virality factor. This, this right here is a prime example of that. It's just so insane, catches your eye. Like as a parent, as I'm not even a parent yet, but bro, this is cool. Like, I kind of want to buy a kid just to put them in one of these. That sounds pretty fucked up, but dude, this thing is dope. Okay, dope. We're going to keep scrolling. I'm going to like that. I definitely want to be targeted by more products like that. That's cool. This is kind of interesting. It's uh, it's a phone port cleaner. So your charger isn't working or, or your phone's dirty, gets sand in the bottom where the charger goes. You can clean it. Solves a problem. I don't know how many people need this. I don't really think it's there's a huge market for it to be honest so you have to keep that in mind while looking for products although it's cool realistically think about it is this going to sell do a lot of people need this like not once did i ever need to clean my phone port charger so that's out that's out of the question um and yeah just scroll down until you find something like like that that baby bumper car that's really cool um it could solve a prop uh it could solve a problem because it could keep their kids entertained like, let me go back to that one second. I got, I got, I got to talk about this some more. So it keeps your kid entertained. They're not always crying. They're having a good time. That's less stress for the parents. So it's, it's enjoying to watch for the parents. You could get good photos out of it. Good videos of your kid. Like that brings joy to the parents. And it, it, dude, that kid is living his life in that thing. Like this is awesome. Okay. Round three, go back to the search bar and type in Amazon finds it this time new keyword new search term instead of searching by top i'm gonna go through the hashtags with you guys to show you that the hashtags work too so after i click on hashtags click amazon finds and we get all of these things that people find on amazon they think it's really cool and they share it like most of the content and the products on here are gonna have that viral factor because they're tagging these hashtags they're getting a lot of engagement and they're reposting it on tiktok so it's cool enough for these people to think that they have to repost it on tiktok so that's already a good start and this is why tiktok is such a powerful platform so the only thing with going to the hashtag is that we can't sort by the month for post this week for most engaged with posts that's the only thing i don't like about the hashtag but it's still a great way to find winning products like just scrolling down now we're just going until something catches eye catches my eye something that we find is really cool um what is this I'm not that into this stuff, so I don't know how cool this is. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, hmm. This is cool, but I've seen it before. Not too cool. Hmm. What's this? Baby teeth keeper, baby teeth storage. It's kind of gross. I wouldn't sell it. Decent idea, cool idea. I mean, some people would like that. I wouldn't like that. I'm gonna keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Ooh, this thing again, this thing was so cool. I gotta go back to it, the phone charger. It's just so dope. Um, yeah, I really wanna find a great product with you guys. Like, honestly, we we might end up selling that, we, and we honestly might end up selling that baby kid's bumper car. We gotta go back to that. But this is pretty much just the third way to find products like this, an unspillable baby bowl. This is cool, it solves a problem because a lot of kids knock over their bowls when they eat. You could flip this thing, turn it around. This is a really dope product, solves a problem. I know there's a need for it, makes parents' lives easier. They don't get frustrated when they have to clean up their kids' Cheerios or Frosted Flakes or whatever. So that's the product. Um, I, the margin wouldn't be too too big though, so you definitely want to sell them in bulk. Like you could probably sell one of them for ten dollars. You could sell a package of three for 
maybe like 30 99 or something like that and that's where you want to go with it because you want a good profit margin so you're not just squeezing the customer acquisition cost on facebook like you don't want to not make money selling these products with all this effort you want to find a good product with a good margin that sells and makes your life easy and and better okay so i went back to TikTok, made me buy it and i found this really cool product it's pretty much a shoe insole that makes you taller and people get really self-conscious when they're short, especially men. So that's gonna be our target market for this for the first initial test until we find out what our customer, who our customer actually is and what exactly they want. So we're gonna test this shoe insole that adds up to four inches of height and we're really gonna focus on that pain point. Okay, so we went ahead and we found the product on AliExpress right here and it adds three centimeters, five centimeters, seven centimeters, nine centimeters. So there's a bunch of different ones you can get depending on the ideal height you want, pretty cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our brand's name and we're gonna come in here and we type in shoe insoles to do a little bit of research and we see brand names like Upstep, VKT, VKTryGear.com. So basically we could just call this website TallGear.com. This is a very quick assumption of what our domain would be, but do a little bit more research, come up with your own name. So we're gonna go into here and just type in TallGear.com. So this is gonna be our brand name. Now the product is a shoe insole. I'm gonna go ahead, brainstorm a little bit and come up with a good product name. Okay, so I went ahead and I made a bunch more categories and for the product name, we're gonna call the product the Tallo. Tallo shoe insoles. And for the three centimeter pricing, we have $6.09. For the nine centimeter, we got $10.61. The original price is very close because we want the highest average order value as possible. So $49.95 for the three centimeter, $59.95 for the nine centimeter. And what we did with the sales price is we gave a higher percentage off if you buy the nine centimeter because we wanna maximize our profit margin. And it looks like they're getting a better deal because now these price points are so freaking close. So the pain points we're gonna shoot at are short men. Men who are short, because usually if you're shorter, you have less confident than a tall man. So. I did a little bit of research and we're also gonna make this product look very official and we're gonna market it very well and brand it very well. We're gonna do research, find statistics and studies done by doctors if we were running through with this product. We want it to be doctor recommended so it's actually a legitimate product and we're not just selling some crappy AliExpress product that doesn't benefit you and make you feel better and improve your life in any sort of way. We want to do all of that. We wanna improve your life and make you feel better. So we're gonna connect foot support with over posture too as a bonus. We're going to also find studies on how foot insole support supports back pain for a less stressful life and a better sleep. Those are bonuses. Now this is the main marketing angle. We're going to find studies done how taller men are more confident and we're going to target shorter men to become more confident. You could get more women, you could have a better life, you could wake up and feel good in the morning. All of this stuff is going to lead and drive impulse purchases. So the shipping times for this product, ideally we wanna ship from the USA and have a five to seven day shipping time. If you live in the UK, Canada, wherever else, you want to get a supplier in your country and have low five to seven day shipping times. If not, next best option, we're gonna ship from China. All you have to do is contact your supplier and ask them if they have any quicker shipping times than they display on AliExpress, like DHL e-commerce, Unixpress, or any other shipping options that they offer. We definitely want to get the quickest shipping times possible. Our conversion rate will go way up if we do. So that's how you find winning products on TikTok. That's how you market the shoe and sole we found together. Drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. Stay beast, my lords. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.